Greetings, I'm Hurt Castro, coming to you from our state-of-the-art suspension development center in Colorado Springs. Today we're going to learn how to remove the lower leg assembly from RockShox's forks. This is the first step in servicing any fork. It allows you access to the fork bushings, damper system, and the spring system. Here are the three steps. First, remove the air from the air chambers. Second, remove the shaft bolts. Third, remove the lower leg assembly. Unless you've done this many times before, we sure do recommend that you check out this RockShox technical manual, which is on the SRAM website as a PDF. Please print this out and read through it before you get started. This is key if you have a boxer fork, as the disassembly procedure is slightly different. Okay, enough preliminaries, let's get down to business. We recommend that you always wear eye protection and nitrile gloves when servicing a fork. First, remove the air chamber valve cover cap from the left fork leg top cap. If the fork has a negative air chamber, remove the negative air chamber valve cover cap from the bottom of the left fork leg. Now depress the Schrader valve and release all the air from the air chamber. If the fork has a negative air chamber, start with the negative air chamber, then proceed to the positive chamber. Next, pull the external rebound adjuster knob and remove it from the right shaft bolt. Use a 5mm hex wrench to loosen both shaft bolts 3 to 4 turns. For dual air equipped forks, use a 10mm socket or open end wrench to loosen and unthread the dual air shaft nut just past the threaded shaft end. Now use a plastic mallet to tap each shaft bolt free from its press fit to the lower leg. Use your fingers to remove shaft bolts, nuts, and crush washers completely. Okay, now remove the lower leg assembly from the fork by firmly pulling it downward, holding onto both legs or the brake arch. If the legs don't come free, don't hit the brake arch. Instead, check to see if either of the shafts is still engaged. A good indicator is if oil drains from one side but not the other. You'll want to retap the side that oil is not draining from. Use an oil pan when draining the excess oil from the lower leg assembly. Finally, spray isopropyl alcohol on and into the lower leg assembly. Wipe the lower legs clean, then wrap a clean rag around a dowel and clean the inside of each lower leg. Now you're ready to perform the service that required you to disassemble your RockShox fork in the first place.